In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, O Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, and on the third day he arose again, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We offer three Hail Marys for an increase in the virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The five glorious mysteries. The first mystery is Jesus rose from the dead. The fruit of the mystery is faith. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. <coughs> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh, my Jesus, Amen. 
The second glorious mystery is the ascension. The fruit of the mystery is hope. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among my women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among my women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh, my Jesus, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The third glorious mystery is the descent of the Holy Spirit. The fruit of the mystery is love of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh, my Jesus. The fourth glorious mystery is the Assumption of Our Lady into Heaven. The fruit of the mystery is grace of a happy death. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, O my women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fifth glorious mystery is the crowning of Our Lady, Queen of Heaven and Earth. 
The fruit of the mystery is trust in Mary's intercession. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou, woman, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh, my Jesus, hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin, pray for us, O holy Mother of God. For the Pope's intentions and for the indulgence. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Most sacred heart of Jesus, O Mary, conceive without sin. Saint Catherine Labore, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, 
enkindle them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created. Let us pray. O God, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful, by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us the same spirit to be truly wise, to ever rejoice in his consolation through Jesus Christ, our Lord. O Mary, conceive without sin. O Mary, conceive without sin. O Mary, conceive without sin. O Lord Jesus Christ, who have vouchsafed to glorify by numerous miracles, the Blessed Virgin Mary, immaculate from the first moment of her conception, grant that all who devoutly implore her protection on earth may eternally enjoy your presence in heaven, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit live and reign, God forever and ever. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, who for the accomplishments of your greatest works have chosen the weak things of the world, that no flesh may glory in your sight, and who, for a better, more widely diffused belief in the Immaculate Conception of your Mother, have wished that the miraculous medal be manifested to St. Catherine Labore. Grant, we beseech you, that filled with like humility, we may glorify this mystery by word and work. Amen. The Memorari. Remember, O most compassionate Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your assistance, or sought your intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly unto you, O virgins of virgins, our mother. To you do we come, before you we kneel, sinful and sorrow. O mother of the word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your clemency, hear and answer them. Amen. The Novena Prayer. O Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord Jesus and our Mother, penetrate with the most lively confidence in your all-powerful and never-failing intercession, manifested so often through the miraculous medal. We, your loving and trustful children, implore you to obtain for us the graces and favours if they be beneficial to our mortal souls and the souls. You know, O Mary, how often our souls have been the sanctuaries of your Son, who hates iniquity. Obtain for us, then, a deep hatred of sin and the purity of heart, which would attach us to God alone, so that every thought, word, and deed may tend to his greater glory. Obtain for us also a spirit of prayer and self-denial, that we may recover by penance what we have lost by sin, and at length attain to the blessed abode where you are, the Queen of Angels and of Men. Amen. An act of consecration to Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. O Virgin, Mother of God, Mary Immaculate, we dedicate and consecrate ourselves to you under the title of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. May this medal be for each one of us a sure sign of your affection for us and a constant reminder of our duties toward you. Ever while wearing it, May we be blessed by your loving protection and preserved in the grace of your Son. O most powerful Virgin, Mother of our Savior, keep us close to you every moment of our lives. Obtain for us, your children, the grace of a happy debt, so that in union with you we may enjoy the bliss of heaven forever. Amen. O Mary, conceive without sin. O Mary, conceive without sin. O Mary, conceived without sin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While the crowd were pressing in on Jesus and listening to the word of God, he was standing by the lake of Gehinzert. He saw two boats there alongside the lake. The fishermen had disembarked and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, he asked him to put out a short distance from the shore. Then he sat down and thought the crowds from the boat. After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out now into deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing. But at your command, I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish and their nets were tearing. They signaled to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. They came and filled both boats so that the boats were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For the astonishment at the catch of fish they had made seized him, and all those with him. And likewise, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners of Simon. Jesus said to Simon, do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching men. When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. In many parts, of the stories about Jesus in the scripture are related to times when he was either on the sea or near the sea. There's a story about an American who traveled to the Middle East to visit the Sea of Galilee. He wanted to know and see the place where Jesus had walked on water. So he approached a boatman and asked him if he knew the place where Jesus performed the great miracle. The boatman told him that he could take him to the exact spot. Moreover, he said, I'll take you there free of charge. Whereupon they got into the boat and the obliging boatman rowed a considerable distance from the shore. Then he stopped and he said, to the man, this is the exact spot. We are in the exact place where Jesus walked on the waves. After drinking it in the sight and meditating for a while, the American said he was ready to return to the shore. The boatman said, that will cost you $50. The boatman said, but I thought you told me you would bring me out here free of charge. The traveler protested, to which the boatman said, I told you I would bring you out here free, but you didn't ask me about the return trip. Then, as the traveler was digging into his wallet, he murmured, no wonder Jesus walked on water. When we speak about spiritual moments in our life. They're different than what we call in sports. Sometimes we say such a person had a breakout game, meaning they had an excellent game that they played above their potential. But that's not what we're talking about when we're talking in the spiritual sense of the word. We call it a breakthrough moment. For example, St. Paul's experience on the road to Damascus, a suddenly an increase in knowledge and understanding, an important moment, a discovery, 
that God exists and that God is close to you. This is what we mean by a breakthrough moment in our lives. It doesn't have to be anything extraordinary. Sometimes the simple experience will do it for you. For example, you are afraid and a truck passed by at that very moment with the words on it, do not be afraid. I'm always reminded of, as I said over the weekend, I gone through more airports than I ever wanted to get through. But when you live in one country and you're from another country, the quickest way of getting there is by a plane. I think it was Dublin Airport a few years ago. You get the boarding pass and you look at the boarding pass to find out. They call it a gate. I'm not sure why they call it a gate because you're not going to a gate, you're getting onto a plane. Anyway, it said 48B. And sometimes even finding that particular place is difficult in itself. There are signs going this way and arrows going this way. And so anyway, I got to what they call the gate, 48B. And there was a long line waiting to get on the plane, so I knew I had time and went around a kind of a circle to get some water. And I came back and I noticed there was nobody there. So I said to this young man at the counter, uh, I said, uh, are they all gone on the plane? And he looked at the boarding pass. And he says, Father, come with me. And uh, he was, seemed to be very happy to see a priest because he started talking about religion and he seemed to be on fire with his religion. And I'm saying to myself, this is unusual. He was about 25 years of age. Obviously, he was from Dublin. He had a Dublin accent. And um, I'm saying to myself, what is it? How did this young man become on fire with his religion? And I tried to ask him a few times, and he's bringing me along, you know. And um, by the way, he put me onto the plane first. But anyway, just before I got onto the plane, I asked him again, how or what? gave you this experience of having such a great love for your religion. And he said something like this to me. He says, one day, Father, I was down near the lake and it was a sunny day. And whatever way the sun hit the water. Now, that didn't mean anything to me, but it meant an awful lot to this young man. That experience, he realized that God was with him. He realized that there is a God. Now, these moments happen in our lives more than you realize, but we sometimes dismiss them very quickly. Let's go back now to St. Peter's moment. The Gospel of Luke yesterday tells us after he's speaking to the people, Jesus said, put out into deep water now and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said, Master, we have been out here all night and have caught nothing, but at your command, I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish. Their nets were tearing. It says, when Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus, fell at his knees at Jesus, and said, depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For the astonishment at the catch of fish had made, seized him. At that moment, even though he was with Jesus for a long time before that, this was his breakthrough moment. This moment he was seeing God through a man. Because he says, uh, look, stay away from me. I, I am a sinful man. These moments, they don't have to be too dramatic. 
There are many moments in the scriptures where it tells us about the apostles and their breakthrough moments. There's obviously the one about the transfiguration where they see Jesus in dazzling white on the mountain. Mother Teresa heard the call, go out and feed the hungry. But sometimes the moments in your life, if you look back on them, they don't have to be anything dramatic. They don't have to be something that you can explain to your neighbor or your friend or your family for that matter. But it means something to you. It means something to you. You should hold on to these moments a little bit and meditate on them because you need them. Remember again, the transfiguration where Jesus brought the apostles up that mountain. He didn't bring them up the mountain just for the sake of looking down at the view. It had nothing to do with that. But it had everything to do with in a little bit from that time on. They were now seeing Jesus. Actually, they were seeing God in a man. They saw him in his heavenly state. We call it an apparition. Call it what you like. But you say, why? Why did they get that moment? Because they would need it. These men were going to see him in a violent situation, in a difficult moment on Good Friday, where he would die. And he had told them already, I will rise from the dead three days later. So they were given this glimpse to help them to continue, not to fall apart. But as I say again, each one has little glimpses, little situations in your life that you realize, hey, I'm not alone. There is a God. The power of the Holy Spirit, the peace is there. It is good to think about them because, again, these are the moments that you need just to get you through. We're now in the, the dead of winter, as you well know. It's difficult for all of us to get out around, um, for some, especially maybe those listening on the airwaves who are sick, elderly. They may not be able to leave the house. And uh, we often say the more time you have, the less time you have to pray. It's funny, this is how we're built at times. You know, you might have all the time in the world, yet it's difficult to pray. But these moments, think about them so that they will inspire you to continue to know that you're not alone, and that the God who made you is with you. The beautiful prayer to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, beloved of my soul, enlighten me, console me, guide me, strengthen me. Tell me what I should do. I promise to submit myself to all that you desire of me. Let me only know your will. Amen.
given them bread from heaven. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you have given us the Eucharist as a memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. divine praises. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most precious blood, blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar, blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete, blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy, blessed be her holy and immaculate conception, Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and in his saints. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world even to the end of time. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know, at this stage, it's probably two years since COVID began. And in churches especially, Satan is no friend of churches, as you know, but he shot down many things over those two years. We're still trying to build it up, not only here, but all over. And uh, one of the things that we used to have going here that has not flourished yet 
is the Divine Mercy Chaplet. It was said always on a Wednesday, and uh, there was a group who used to meet inside in St. Joseph's Chapel. But it is important at some stage to bring that chaplet back. It's a powerful chaplet because the whole revelation to this nun was only in the 1930s. That's not that long ago, is it? The 1930s. Uh, the whole part of it was, I want people to trust in my mercy. That's beautiful, isn't it? Because we're human and we're kind of like, kind of afraid at times when we mess up. But he's telling us, the more you come to me with an open heart, the more mercy I will give you. Everybody needs mercy. Everybody needs forgiveness. So that's a powerful um, group. It's a powerful prayer, but doing it as a group. So I'm just drawing this out to, to know what the best way of bringing that back and when to bring it back, uh, what day, what time. Um, as I look around at the churches today, and sometimes we'll probably benefit, especially the elderly, something more during the day rather than at night, you know. Um, so we're coming up to, we're starting Lent, I guess, sometime in, is it Feb the end of February or March? It's coming up. So usually we designate the second Sunday after Easter. It's a Mercy Sunday. So think about that, and uh, you can always send an email through the, through the website about what to do with that. But it's time to, uh, to move on. Um, I don't know, this virus, we get colds and flus every year, don't we? So um, they will always be with us. But that's important, especially coming up to Easter Divine Mercy, to somehow bring it back. It's up to you. You're the people who will come, support it. So think about it, discuss it with others as well, and see where we go with that. I'll just say a prayer with the relic here tonight. O oh, Saint Catherine Labore, you saw the Blessed Mother in that church in Rudebach many years ago. Because of that apparition, we're here tonight, honoring the Mother of God, asking her to intercede for us. We also ask you to intercede. You see into the hearts of all who are present in this church tonight and also those who are listening. You know how weak we are, how much grace is we need just to live every day, to keep our heads above water. We pray, St. Catherine Labore, that you would intercede with the Blessed Mother before Almighty God. We ask you to intercede for the graces that we need, for health of mind, body, and soul. And bless all of us so that we can be more motivated. Take away any depression, especially spiritual depression, where we think that our few prayers don't make a difference, and yet we are told they make a tremendous difference. Give us the motivation, the courage, the strength to continue to pray. May Almighty God bless you through the intercession of St. Catherine Labore, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace.